All right. Hello, humans. Artist with the Fro here, and welcome back to the show. We are here opening up a box of Blar, otherwise known as Battles of Legend Armageddon. All right. So we're going to try to see what we can get with this uh, with this specific set and really just see whatever we can pull out of here. I, in particular, am looking not for 10,000 Dragon, but actually for uh, the Utopia card. So we'll see how good our luck is, and we'll see how well we can manage. We're also streaming this live as well on our Twitch channel, which you can always check out and join us on uh, here at Artist with the Fro at twitch.com from 7 to 9 p.m. on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Right now, again, most of most people, I believe, are buying this set for the uh, for the Utopia for the Ten Thousand Dragon. But I think the only thing that I I might be looking for in here is Cross Sheep. I know that they did a Cross Sheep Ultra Rare uh, reprint, so we'll see what we can get with that, and we'll see what we can manage. But we're gonna start off first with the first pack, five cards per pack. So I'm kind of like a little bit bummed out about that. Um, but nonetheless, still pretty good. So we're going to take the first card in the back, put that back there, switch this over, and the first card we have is Valor Fawn, the Mythical Beast of the Forest. Next card is number three, Cicada King, Penguin Torpedo, number two, Numeron Gate, and starting off first with a Numeron Network. I actually need to grab my sleeves over here because I feel like we're going to be putting a lot of stuff in sleeves. We were just talking about how good slash not good this card is um but you know nonetheless really good starting off uh penguin torpedo we're actually also going to hold on to because you know the ice barrier deck was just announced and you never know what cards may or may not be in that uh so we're just going to keep on moving first pack was done we got a numeron network really good for the new zexel uh uh cards that are arriving or rather have arrived uh, first thing we have, Goyo Defender. It's also interesting that Goyo Guardian got a reprint in this as well. Although I don't really think many people are using Goyo. Appliance or Reuse, Appliance or Test, Fire Flint Lady, which I heard was a really good card. If you control a Warrior Monster, you can special summon this card from your grave. Wow, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can send this card from your hand to the field, special summon one level four or lower. This is really good support for Warriors, especially for the Infer Noble Knights. This is a really good card. This card here, Fire Flint Lady, this is, I, don't, I hope a lot of people aren't sleeping on it. And look at that, Ice Barriers are living up to their name. We actually pulled the Trishula Dragon of Icy Imprisonment. I'm going to be kind of biased here with my sleeves. Because uh, I don't really feel like Trish, like this version of Trish deserves, uh, you know, the perfect red sleeve. I think we're going to give it the pink sleeve, you know, to match the, the fusion thing. There's also um, Invocation, Invocation, Invocation in here that a lot of people are looking for uh but invocation has sort of a tendency to be really really short printed so it really just depends on what people are are saying four mud skipper really good card for cybers and link uh based strategies really really good card appliancer electro lyrical world four mud skipper is actually probably going to be going into the uh the sealed only giveaway binder which you guys can also get if you uh sort of watch our channel and you sort of join into us uh, Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion, really, really good card, and Fossil Fusion, two good cards here as well. Fossil Fusion, another good card. Um, I think a lot of people like are really sleeping on uh, Fossil Fusion, just because it's kind of just one of those things where it's like, oh, you know, new archetype, not really so good, not really uh, much to talk about. Um, but we're going to also hold on to Formud and Fire Flame Lady. I think there's a lot of good cards in this set. Um, especially, like, some of the some of the sort of low-key cards. I don't think that a lot of people are realizing are going to be either worth stuff or useful. Um, but the chat's going crazy. They're saying O-Lion is a short print ultra rare. What? Really? That's crazy. This is the one card I've seen a lot of people use with Halky Fibrax. So it's really interesting to see how... Uh, how useful that card has become with the inclusion of Link Monsters. So the first card we have here is Elemental Hero Chaos, Chaos Neos. Numeron Gate, number three, Junk Anchor, kind of looks like Mega Man here. Uh, we have Secure Gardena, and we have Artifact Ignition. Really good card here for anybody trying to build a hat deck. I also find it really weird that, you know, 
Um, we still haven't had an Aeroneos reprint in what, like almost 10, 20, <laughs> 10, 20 years. In almost 10 years, right? Like, when was the last time Aeroneos only has one printing? And I think that card's like close to, if not above $60. It's like close to that. Um, Malefic Paradigm Dragon. Appliance or Laundry Dragon. Are we going to get another dragon in here? Ra's Disciple. I think that's good for Ra, Ra decks. Uh, Flower Cardian. And Glacial Polar Penguin, another good card for the Ice Barrier or the upcoming Ice Barrier deck. Do not sleep on these Aqua cards. I think that a lot of people have been, and I think that that might be their, uh, that might be their downfall. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see what we got. Appliancer, Kappa Scale. Next card is Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Lion Emperor. One of the cards that we kind of needed. We're actually just going to hold on to this man. He might be good uh, in the later half of the of the sealed only series, but we'll really have to see. Afterglow, Boost Warrior, and Fossil Dragon Skullgar. Huh. Skullgar kind of reminds me of, like, Skeletor, but it actually really reminds me more of, like, Skull Greymon. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the Digimon series. Uh, Numeron Gate Ecam. Obedient Schooled, another good card. I heard this card was actually really, really useful. Uh, Numeron Gate, Cat Vari, Galaxy Worm, and number C92, Heart Earth, Chaos Dragon. Heart Earth, Chaos Dragon. C92. Why is it C? Why is it a C card instead of a regular 92 card? And it's like it has a whole bunch of things. It's four level. No way. Four level ten monsters is no way. Uh, what else we got? Appliancer, Copy Bocal, number three, Trini, Invoked Caliga, Numeron Wall, and Invocation. Another card that I heard was really, really hard to get. Again, everyone's been talking about, you know, short prints, short print life. Um, but Invocation is one of those where it's just like, yo, mm -mm. a lot of people need this card. Uh, but yeah, we're going to just keep moving. We're going to keep moving through. Again, I guess I'm particularly, like I said, I'm particularly looking for, uh, what's the card called? I'm looking for Cross Sheep. Cross Sheep is the one card that I think we want to have. Uh, but we also have some people in the chat off topic. Uh, wanted everyone to know that you are a hero in someone else's story. Exactly. Exactly. Really good sp uh, spreading the, uh, the positivity. Um, we have Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. Really good card for... Uh, What's the card called? Union Carrier, uh, Intruder Alarm, Yellow Alert, uh, Ultra Rare Book of Moon, uh, Secure Gardena, and Number FO Utopic Future Slash. He said C92 is generally summoned by using a rank up spell and 92. What is the original 92's effect? If you don't mind telling us, what is the original 92's effect? As we look at the first card here, Elemental Hero, uh, Neos Alias. Number three, Cicada King, Appliancer, Vacuum Elephant. This, doesn't this remind you of, um, of the, of the, uh, what are they called? The Master Robots in Mega Man X. We have another Junk Anchor, and we have Miracle Rupture. Miracle Rupture. Whoa, these, okay, that's, that's a long chat. Let me see if I can actually read that. Uh, number 92, three level 9 monsters. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken. During your opponent's end phase, you can detach one exceed material from this card. Banish all cards your opponent controls. Whoa, that were normal, special summoned, or were set this turn. If this card is destroyed while it has an exceed material, you can special summon it from the graveyard. Oh, and when you do, it gains a thousand attack for each card. Wow, holy cow. But that's what regular 92 does. So C92 probably does something crazier. <laughs> so you're back from the Matt world. Black Whirlwind, really good support card for one of the most famous and popular decks to ever come out. Necroz of Gungnir, you guys know how I feel about rituals. We need our ritual deck. Just use it with them. Topologic Zero Boros, this actually uh, just got errated. Uh, so it actually has a new style of text. I think its effect activates during the next standby phase as opposed to this standby phase. Something like that. Uh, Goyo Guardian, I actually have a history with this card. This is probably my second uh, uh, Synchro card that I've ever used or pulled. I actually remember buying it off of a friend for like $5. 
Uh, but like really, really good, really useful card here. And Madolce and Jelly. This is actually going to be really good for the. Um, this is going to be really good for the Ghost Trick Gal. She's been thinking about making a Madolce deck, so we're going to hold on to Angeli for her. Oh, you said it was mistranslated? Oh, is that it? Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So this set corrected it. Oh, the set corrected the text that it had. I see. I see. All right, let's see what we get over here. Super All In. We have a Veiler Fawn, the mystical beast of the forest. You know what I actually uh, notice a lot about the uh, from lives to lives. <laughs> I get to see you lives. Yeah, I know, right? I've been jumping around a lot of people's stuff recently. Uh, just checking out the community, really giving a lot of people uh, followers. Um, really just following like a lot of people on their channels. Um, but what I was going to say about the beast cards is that you're really going to want to hold on to these because Tri Brigade is going to come out and all of these beast, beast warrior and wing beast cards are really going to be good. Penguin Torpedo, again, another good card for ice barriers. What am I looking for from the set? I'm only looking for cross sheep. That's it. I'm really just looking for cross sheep. Kawaki Meru Dragon and Fossil Warrior Skull King will be the last card that we had on our side. So far we pulled Angeli. We, well actually, yeah, I'll spread these out. So far we pulled Angeli, we have Invocation, Fossil Fusion, Trish, and Numeron Network. What we need, or rather what we want to make sure that we're looking for is uh, Firefist FTK. It's possible to do that thanks to Tri Brigade. I need to see that in action. Because we've been using our fat deck, or rather our newly formed fat deck, which is Fire Fist, Ancient Warriors, and Tri Brigades. Uh, Assault Blackwing, Sh Sh Sohaya the Rainstorm, Malefic Paradigm Dragon, Fire Flint Lady, and again, another really good card. Appliancer, Breaker, Bunkle, and Armored White Bear. Bear plus 10 key equals FTK. What is uh, Fire Fist Bear's effect? What does Fire Fist Bear do? You're going to have to let me know. What does Fire Fist Bear do? Number one, uh, Numeron Gate, Ecam. I know Tenki is a one card. Yeah, I know Tenki is a uh, one card eagle now. Oh, uh, oh, I, I, I feel like I understand. There we go. That's the boy that we needed. We just got Salamand Great Gazelle. Really good ultra card. But Cross Sheep is what we were really looking for. Another good target for our uh, Tri Brigade cards. So we're going to hold on to him. Flower Cardian and Weathering Soldier. Really glad that we actually got... Uh... Oh, so Bear destroys. He pops a fire formation and he... Oh, to destroy either a spell or a monster. Ah, so if you destroy like Ingen, you can destroy Ingen, get a Fire Fist from your grave after you've already fusion summoned, and then like just summon that off. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. But with the Tri Brigades, especially with like all three of them, like one of them is a Foolish Burial, the other one's a Search when it's sent, and then the third one's kind of like a Discard for Cost and Summon, like they're really, really good. Uh, Neos Alias is our first card, then we have Intruder Alarm, Yellow Alert, followed by Elemental Hero, Shining Flare, Wingman, number two, Numeron uh, Gate, Dive, and then Chimera Tech, Mega Fleet Dragon. Uh, really good if you're facing off against... Um, Cyber Dragons, a really, really good card to use against them. All right, let's see what we got. Four Mud Skipper, this is the second one that we've actually had. Uh, so again, really good for that. Appliance or Electro Lyrical World. And we have Blackwing, Chris, the Crack of Dawn, at the Crack of Dawn. Appliance or Test, and Fossil Warrior Skull Bone. Activate Tenki to add Fractar, activate Fractar to send Naval. Uh, then add another Fractar, then use Fractar's Effect to summon Eagle. Oh, use Fractar's Effect to summon the Eagle. And then combos, you don't remember after that, more Fossil Bones. I know, right? Obedient School, really good, really good. Appliance or Copy, Borkle. Uh, number four, Numeron Gate, Katvari. Invoked, Purgatrio. And Glacial Beast, Blizzard, Wolf. The Invoked uh, cards, what is it? Most people play Mechaba, I feel, right? Like, it's Mechaba and Kaliga that I've seen the most. I don't think I've seen any other... Oh, no, and the, the Wind one. Raijin, I think, is his name. Invoked Raijin. That's one of those really other good cards. Black Whirlwind, starting us off. And we have Appliancer Reuse. 
Appliancer Dryer Drake, Elemental Hero Shining Flare Neos, and Elemental Hero Escuridao. 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 Jeez, I need to get better at pronouncing these cards. <laughs> Surprised you haven't pulled the Narwhal yet. What is. Uh, oh, the Glacial Beast Narwhal? Interesting how all of the fossils are secret rare and all of the appliances are ultra rare. It is somewhat shorted to Escuridao. I feel like I'm mispronouncing that. <laughs> Appliance or Laundry Dragon. Appliance or Socket Roll. These kind of remind me of the um, of the Morphtronics. Uh, invoked Kaliga. What we were just talking about. Salamon Great Sunlight Wolf. And number C1, Numeron Gate Sunya. We actually ended up getting Sunya from head-to-head uh, -head battles. They actually gave us one of theirs. All right. So the next one we have. Oh, there we go. Talking about Narwhal. There he is. Narwhal. Followed by Super All In, Salaman Great Gazelle, Kalatosa, and Numeron Wall. There we go. All right, you were just talking about that. You wanna you wanna put Utopia into the uh, into the earth? You wanna you wanna speak it, it Utopia into existence? If we get that card, that would actually be really really cool. I'm not gonna lie. If we were able to get that card, that would be awesome. Appliance or Kappa. Lion Emperor, hey, Goyo Guardian, again, really good card here. Next card is Ultra Rare Book of Moon, and, ooh, Dark Arm Dragon, the Dragon of Annihilation. <laughs> Yo, Utopia, seriously, we have three packs left. Let's see, I think we put, we pulled two of the dragons out of all of them, right? I think what we need is, um, what do we need? We need the Judgment Dragon, and we need the Red Eyes, and the Chaos Emperor Dragon, right? Psychic Wave, Jinzo on the card art, followed by Necroz of Gungnir, another Topologic Zoroboros with correct text, and then we have Fossil Dragon Skullgios after Kawaki Meru, uh, Draco. Trish and Dark Armed, yeah, so far we pulled Trish and Dark Armed, uh, if we then, the other two cards that we need are Judgment, I think, and Chaos Dragon. Right, so we got two second to last pack. I'm actually gonna hold on to these. We'll open up the last pack and see what we get. I know that kind of goes against everything, but you know, let's see. Call in the final pack. So we'll open up this last pack and then we'll go over the second to last pack. Invoked Elysium. Another Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. We have Appliancer Bear Buckle. Invoked Purgatrio and High Rate Draw as our secret rare. And finally, I think I put it to the back. I hope I did. Blackwing. Shohaya. Sohaya. The Rainstorm. Uh, Steam Synchron. Appliancer Vacula Fent. Galaxy Worm. And... Oh, oh, it's a trap card. Dark Spell Regeneration. Interesting. So, that kind of does it for our Battles of Legend Armageddon pull. Uh, we actually ended up getting the card that we obviously wanted. We wanted Cross Sheep. Um, but we also put a bunch of other good cards as well. Invocation, um, Adolce Angeli. Uh, we have our Trishula card, Fossil Fusion, Numeron Network, and Dark Armed as well. But aside from that, that's pretty much going to do it for our Battles of Legend Armageddon box opening. I don't know if I'll actually open up another one. Um, I think it's really just going to depend, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what we got for the near future. Again, if you guys enjoyed this type of video, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to join in on any of the streams that we have, please make sure that you follow us on Artists with a Fro at twitch.tv, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 7 to 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. And with that being said, my friends, I've been the Artist with a Fro. That, my friends, is the show, and thank you all for watching. Take care.